Good afternoon, everyone. All right, uh, tonight I'm making another one of my uh, husband's favorite meals, and that is lasagna. So, what I'm using tonight is a little bit of black pepper. I'll top it with some parsley flakes as a garnish when it's finished. Um, a little bit of garlic salt. Some of this uh, Italian spaghetti seasoning blend. This is one of my favorite seasonings. It's uh, I got that at Sam's Club. I have one medium-sized um, zucchini, one medium onion. I'll use one egg and the cottage cheese. I have one jar of just simple spaghetti sauce, cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, the lasagna noodles, and I've got a little bit over a pound of um, ground beef. So I'm going to get the ground beef in the pan, and then I will be back then. Okay, now, I've got my meat over here in this pan, and I've got water over here heating up. I'm going to go ahead and salt this water. You always want to salt your water that you're going to boil noodles in. Give a nice amount of salt in there. I'm just going to get this all uh, mashed up, and then I'm going to start adding some seasonings into the meat. Okay, now to the meat, I'm going to add some garlic salt. When I use meat, I always make sure that I have plenty of seasonings in it so that it's not bland inside of the dish that I'm adding it to. A good amount of pepper. And as this starts to cook, I'm going to add the onions and then I'll let them cook along with the meat and towards the uh, end of the process when the meat is mostly browned I'm going to add the zucchini in there also and let that uh, soften up a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see that but the meat is almost brown. Um, it still has a little bit of pinkness left in it so now I'm going to go ahead and add the zucchini in there. I'm going to get that stirred up really nice. Okay, now, I've strained all the liquid off, all of the fat, and now it is time to add the uh, tomato sauce. And I'm going to let it just sit here and simmer while I'm working on the noodles. I'm adding the whole jar. Now, if you want to make your own homemade sauce, you definitely can. It's not very difficult, but I have plenty of this pre-made sauce on hand, so that is what we're doing tonight. I'm going to go ahead and add that spaghetti seasoning in here. Now, add quite a bit. Now this is just a combination of um, onions and dehydrated um, green bell peppers and red bell peppers and it's got parsley and dehydrated garlic and a little bit of red pepper and then oregano and stuff like that. So it really, really is good. But see, that, that looks really nice with the uh, zucchini in there. And if your kids don't really like eating veggies, um, but they like lasagna, usually they don't even realize that the zucchini is in here. So you get a little bit of an added health benefit, but it still tastes really good. All right, that's all nice and mixed up. So I'm gonna turn this down to where it's just at a simmer and I'm gonna let this cook 
And I've got to get my uh, water over here boiling. It's been heating up, but it's taken a little while, so I'll be back when that starts boiling. Okay, I tasted the sauce. It needed just a little bit of salt, so I added some garlic salt, and it also needs just a hint of sweetness. So, don't laugh at me, guys. This might seem weird to you, but I'm going to add just a, about a teaspoon of honey. A teaspoon or a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. I think a teaspoon will do it. But I often add honey to um, any sort of tomato sauce that needs a little sweetness because I just don't like adding sugar. And the honey isn't overly sweet. So, and it's good for you. Sugar's not good for you. So, that's my little secret. <laughs> That's not secret anymore. And it might seem it might seem weird, but it's 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 good. Alright, now I'm just gonna let this continue to go and I'll be back. Alright, I've got my noodles boiling over here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add about a half of another jar of uh, sauce in here. Cause I'm making a large uh pan of lasagna here so you need to make sure that you have plenty of sauce and I'll go through and make sure it's seasoned and all that before I actually put it in there add a little bit more garlic salt And hang on just a second. Just a touch more honey. Probably about another teaspoon. I think that looks like what I'm needing it to be. I usually have this pan completely full when I'm making a big, um, a big pan of lasagna. So, now I'm going to get this moved back here on the back burner so I can work on this front one. I've got that turned down back there so it'll stay nice and warm. But now I'm about to uh, mix up my... cottage cheese and egg the burner is still a little bit hot so I don't really want to put the glass right on it sorry let me scoot you back just a little bit here there we go Okay, now I'm going to get the egg in here. I'm going to get that mixed in. A lot of people use ricotta, but uh, we've always used cottage cheese. Um, for one, it's cheaper. And two, we just aren't that crazy about ricotta so now I've got that nice and mixed in I'm gonna check on my noodles all right I'm using some tongs to get these out so I don't rip them when you're boiling your noodles you don't want to uh, get them overcooked because you don't want soggy noodles in your lasagna so I always just get them Not quite al dente, but almost. But I'm going to get them all in my bowl here, and then I'll set up my assembly line, and I'll be back then. Okay. 
Now, hopefully you can see everything. Um, this is something I don't like to use. Don't come for me, please. <laughs> I don't like using aluminum. Um, I know how bad it is for you. None of my pans are aluminum, but I don't have a baking dish that's deep enough for the lasagna that I make. So, one of these days I will get one, but until that point, I'm using this aluminum pan. <laughs> All right, now, you want to add a little layer of sauce on the bottom. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's just basically there to keep it from sticking to the pan. Now my oven's preheated to 350. I'm just going through here and I'm going to layer these lasagna noodles in here. They fit this pan perfectly too, the length and everything, so I must find a baking dish that is shaped just like this. That would be a tremendous help. Alright, now, that's what they look like when they're in there. Now I'm going to go in here and add a layer of sauce. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. But you want enough in each layer to where you have some in every bite. So. Definitely always make sure that the ends have some sauce on them so that they don't end up being dry. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go in with a layer of the cottage cheese. Seems like I make a bigger mess when I'm on camera and I just drop some more. <laughs> Oh gosh. I'm actually really a clean person when I'm cooking. Some people don't understand how I don't make a huge mess, but it's not like that when I'm on camera. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. <clears throat> That's basically all the cheese that you need on one layer. try to stretch this out for one more layer. Now remember I still have that uh, half of a jar of sauce over here so if I need to use that as the topping I can do that. That'll be fun because all the good stuff is still inside of the layers. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to top it off with the sauce. But I had plenty. Plenty of uh, meat sauce made up. It was just about perfect. Alright. Now this is our last layer here. I 
there were a few noodle noodles that were broken in the package, so I didn't use those. All right, now I'm gonna scrape what I can out of this pan over here. There's a little bit left. Just kind of spread that around. I see sauce flying everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not getting it on my camera. top it off with some of this sauce especially around the edges let it run down in there like around the ends and the edges you definitely want some sauce because like I said those parts can get dry you don't want it to be like that when someone takes a bite and it's hard or dry Now I'm going to smooth that out. But you see how full this pan is. That's what I was meaning by this is a big pan of lasagna. Alright, now since that sauce wasn't seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and add a few shakes of my trusty old spaghetti seasoning here. And that should be good. And now I'm going to add the mozzarella on top. Now remember you can add whatever cheese that you want. It could be Parmesan. It could be provolone. This is just what we have in our fridge, so... Well, actually, it was in my freezer. <laughs> I keep mozzarella and the um, Mexican-style cheddar uh, blend in my freezer. Usually, I buy it when it's on sale. And it lasts a really long time like that, so... get this really nice and layered. Trying to keep it off the edges of the pan so it won't burn. my little boy's in there watching. He just loves the show. I can't remember the name of it right now, but they're like all heroes in their uh, airplanes. It's really cute and it has some really good values and morals in it. Alright, I think we're about ready to cover it up. You guys think that's enough cheese? <laughs> I think that should be good. All right, now when I cover this up, I try to make sure that there's a little air bubble in there. It doesn't always work, but I try to make sure there's some space between the, the foil and the cheese. Because if, that, um, if it's against the cheese, a lot of times it'll pull the cheese off when you pull that top off. So. see if I was successful when I get done. Alright, now I'm going to get this in the oven for 45 minutes. 
And then, like I said, I'm going to pull the top off of it uh, at 45 minutes and then cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll get it out and then I'll share it with you guys. All right, guys, we are finished. Let me get you in here for a close up. That's what it looks like. Now I'll go ahead and get some on the plate so you guys can see that. I think I want that piece that's right in the middle. <laughs> and I should have used enough to get this, but it'll be okay. And it's still really hot. You can see that steam coming off of there. And I'll just have this with some homemade bread. It looks pretty good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, long video. I'm sorry it was so long, but it's kind of hard to record a whole video of making lasagna without it being long. <laughs> but anyway, now if you let your lasagna sit there for... A good while and it uh, cools off just a little bit it's gonna stand up better but you can see it's still very hot it's fresh out of the oven but it's still gonna taste good anyway I love you all I hope you've had a wonderful night I will see you again very soon bye bye